Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Gym Raw today. My name is Daniel Mello. Today we're gonna to be doing a fat burning workout with some upper body strengthening. So we're gonna be mixing in a lot of jumping, high intensity jumping, utilizing that power to really get the fat burning. Uh, we're also gonna be incorporating uh, pushing and pulling movements. So we're gonna be doing three movements at a time. We'll do first three movements, rest, first three movements, rest, and then the last three movements. So we're gonna start off is, with is some Warm up. So for the first part of our warm up, we're gonna be doing sprinters. So I want you guys to go back in a lunge, come up with your knee. So we're gonna get 15 each side. I want you to really exaggerate that arm motion, get the upper body involved, right? I want you really reaching back, stretching that back leg, and you're gonna be feeling a nice warm up in your front glute. All right, guys, last five. So keep the nice pace going. Almost done. Now you're gonna switch. Other side, bring the opposite leg back. And we're gonna be going for the other side. Really just nice and easy warm up. All right. Keep exaggerating those arms. Breathe nice and easy. We're getting your muscles and cardiovascular system ready to handle the demands of the workout. Take your time if you need it. Get a nice deep stretch in back. Okay, once we get 15 of those, we're gonna use our bench, right? Form a nice straight line with your body. And we're gonna be going push up, bringing the outside leg to the outside, right? So we're gonna get 15 each leg. Really try to pull that knee out. Warm up that groin, right? Bend those arms. Get the upper body ready to go. Okay, same thing. Breathe nice and easy, getting ready to work out. Inhale as you go down, exhale at the top. Make sure your lower back isn't sagging. Keep going all the way to 30. Okay, once we get 30, we're gonna go to our last warm up exercise. So you're gonna come sit on the bench, right? Keep our feet down, and we're just coming straight in front. Sit up. If you need, use your, use your arms. Get a little momentum going. So we're just gonna get 15 of these. If you also want, use the whole bench. Get a nice hamstring stretch. Really sink into it if you want. Hang out there for a second. We're just gonna get 15 of these, okay? You can also come up to the top of our arms Get those shoulders ready for upper body exercises. Once we're done with that, we're gonna do our first exercise, which is squat jumps. So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend down and we're gonna squat up into a jump. No need to go all the way down the parallel. We're just gonna load back the hips and go skywards. We're gonna be doing 15 reps of that. So we'll start off one, two, Really use your arms to get that upward swing. Try not to let your body lean too forward. Sit back in the hips. The ground is hot. As soon as you touch, back up. Okay? So once we're done with that, we're gonna go into our next exercise, our upper body exercise. So our first upper body exercise is gonna be dumbbell bench. Okay, so grab your dumbbells. Tips here, make sure you're squeezing the dumbbells hard, squeezing your butt hard, try not to move your feet around, press from a stable base. Okay, so we're gonna do 15 of these. One, two, three. Go as low as your range of motion allows you to go. Some people might only be parallel. You 
can have the, the dumbbells at a 180 degree angle if you'd like. Maybe a 90 degree angle or all the way together. Whatever feels best on your shoulders. Okay? So we're gonna get 15 reps of these. Breathe in and breathe out. In and out. Keep squeezing those dumbbells hard. Okay? In place sprinters. Ready? Go! So really try to get those knees out there. All right. Breathe easy, get into a rhythm. We're gonna be going for this. We're gonna be doing this for full 30 seconds. So really use those arms, get those elbows back. Get your hands up to your eye level. Keep it going. Going for 30 full seconds. So we're building our power from our jumps. We're building our upper body strength, right? 30 seconds. Now as we take our rest before our next three set of exercises, just relax, control your breathing, belly breath in and out. Shake it out, move around, whatever you need to do. Try to resist the urge to bend over or sit on the bench. You don't want to get dizzy when you come up. So we're just gonna relax, take slow breaths, control our breathing. Okay, keep moving around, shake your legs out, get a little quad stretch if you need it. Also, this is a good time to grab your water. You're definitely gonna need it for the rest of the workout. Take a sip. Okay, so our next three sets of exercises is gonna be similar. So we're gonna be doing, first thing, a jumping exercise. We're gonna be doing step ups, but with a jump, right? After that, we're gonna be doing a pulling exercise and then we'll finish it off with another cardio exercise. So first exercise, jump. Really use those arms to get all the way to the top, right? You don't want to be only using your legs because they're going to burn out. So arms, again, the ground is hot. As soon as you touch, back up. We're going to be doing 15 each time, okay? If you need to, stare at a spot on the floor. It's going to keep you nice, nice and balanced, okay? So keep it going. Try to push off that back, the front leg, excuse me, not the back leg. Only go as low as you need it. Back up, back up. So when we're done with that, we're gonna go straight into our upper body exercise, right? So again, we're gonna grab our dumbbells, okay? And we're gonna be doing a row to balance out the push. So we're gonna be doing a parallel grip, keep it closer to your center of gravity, so it's nice and easy on your back. Control the way down, all the way up. So we're gonna be doing 15 reps of this. All the way up, control, Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, out, okay? Try to keep your lower back and core still. If you need it, a little bit of bounce, just make sure you don't arch. So once we're done with that, we're going right into our third exercise of the set. This time we're gonna be doing the running, but leaning on the bench. So make sure you keep that straight 45 degree angle with your knees high. We're gonna start 30 seconds, ready, go. Just like that. By now your arms are probably tired from the benching, but try to stay in there. Keep your upper back straight, find a spot on the floor, and just dig deep. The ground is hot. Touch, 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 up, up. Keep it going, guys. Really try to split your legs apart. I know you're feeling it, I am. Keep it going. Almost there. All right, when you're done with that, Relax, take a breather, you've earned it, right? In through your nose, out through your mouth. Just try to slow your breathing down. Resist the urge to sit down, stand tall. You got your rest. So now we're gonna move on to our next three exercises. Again, we're gonna be incorporating first a jump, then the upper body exercise, and then we're gonna finish off with really getting your heart rate up all the way. Okay, so first thing, we're not gonna touch our dumbbells. We're gonna go up, do high jumps, minimal knee band this time. Similar to squat jumps, but we're only bending as little as we need. So we're up, as soon as you touch the ground, back up, back up. Remember to use your arms. So we're gonna get 15 of these. Six, seven, eight, the ground's hot. As soon as you touch, explode back up. Your arms are gonna help you out, guys. Keep using your arms. 
Okay, so once you're done with 15, we're gonna move to our second, our third upper body exercise. So for this exercise, we're gonna be combining our pushing with our pulling. Also a lot of core stabilization. So you guys are gonna drop here. We're gonna do a hard set, 30 full repetitions, 15 each arm. So you're gonna start, you're gonna row, row, down to a push up, up. That's one rep, we're gonna go to 15. So row, row, push up. Nice steady breath, I know you guys are tired. Keep it going. Row, row, push up. If you need to make it harder, push your feet close together. If you need to make it easier, feet far apart. It's gonna be a little less stressful on your core. Just keep going. Push up, pull, pull, push up. Try not to let your body twist side to side. Keeping a nice, straight core all the way to 15. Breathe in, breathe out. Down. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next exercise. So, sit. get those dumbbells out of your way. We're gonna be doing power climbers here, similar to one of our warm ups. So, again, you're in that push position. This is what we're gonna do. You're gonna bring your leg all the way to the outside of your hand. Then you're gonna switch other leg, all right? So, we're gonna be doing 30 seconds of those. Ready? Go. So you're going for speed, guys. Try to keep your back flat. Don't round your core. So back flat. We're going for 30 full seconds. Really try to split those legs apart. This is the last exercise of the set. Give it all you got. Keep it going, guys. All the way to 30. Okay, guys. Keep it going. We're almost there. Okay. Okay guys, that concludes the harder part of the workout. Now to finish it off, we're gonna give the core some extra attention by doing some abs, okay? We're gonna be doing three exercises, 15 reps each. The first exercise, get closer to the middle of your bench. We're gonna come out, body extended, and we're gonna jackknife up. So we're gonna be doing 15 reps. Control the way down, and fast up, right? So we're being explosive. Try to keep your legs straight. If you start tiring out, bend your knees if you need to. So try to stay straight all the way through the set. Keep your lower back pasted to the bench. Don't let it arch. Up, okay. Next part of exercise, scoot up. Deep breath. Grab the back of the bench. We're just gonna be doing leg raises. Keep that back pasted to the bench. That's three, four, we're gonna be going all the way up to 15. If you need it, bend your legs, make it a little bit easier on yourself. If you can, try to keep them straight the whole time. So the challenge here is to keep your lower back pace it to the bench and your legs straight all the way to 15. Okay, you're gonna be feeling it. Finish it up. Okay, once that's done, scoot back all the way, legs up. Take a nice breath. We're gonna be going to bicycles. 15 each side. That's three. Get nice speed here. You're gonna be going all the way to 30. You can rush through it if you want. Get those legs all the way extended. If you get tired, get them a little higher. If you can, keep them down low. And we're done. Okay, good job guys. That concludes the workout. Don't just lay back and relax. You don't want to get dizzy. We're going to go do a nice little cool down. So first things first, maybe come down and squat, right? Spread your legs out, get that groin. Take big breaths into your lower back. Okay. Now you're going to go get, your, get that hip flexor. We worked it a lot on the workout. Push back if you need to. Squeeze that back glute. The most important thing is just to relax. Okay, switch sides, get the other side, and slow down your breathing. Okay, maybe come up, get the hamstrings, just grab your elbows, cross them, and just let yourself hang. 
Let your whole body go loose. Just relax. Okay. Let them hang back. Put your feet on the bench. So your lower back is flat. Arms to the side. And just try to let go. Let your arms sink towards the earth. And then big breaths. Okay. We're gonna come here, loosen up the groin a little more, get some of the hamstrings. So you're just gonna come, really lean your torso in it, into it if you can, get your heels to the floor, right? So we're just gonna be going back and forth. Maybe we'll do five each side. Four, last one. If you want, really just hang out here, get a good stretch, turn your ankle out. Last one guys, get the left side, the right side, Let's take a deep breath. All right guys, thanks for joining me today on Gym Raw. Make sure to check back soon for new videos. Most importantly, subscribe, and let's continue our fitness journey together. Thanks.